feminists are my favorite because the feminists are sometimes the meanest. So I sit back and I say, listen, you're a feminist. You're all about female empowerment, about shattering glass ceilings. But you're telling me, because I'm a conservative and because I don't agree with your particular worldview, that I must be a phony, I must be a fake, and the only way I must have gotten to the place where I am is because I slept my way there, or because someone's paying me to be here, or because some man instilled their beliefs in me. These are the feminists. If they don't notice their own hypocrisy, I'll, I would love to point it out to them when it was about women's rights, when it was about the right to vote, the right to own property, the right to divorce, the right to do these things, then that, to me, I would consider myself a feminist because it's about women's rights and about women's empowerment. It's about equality. I think that the left and the far left have hijacked the feminist movement and they've turned it into something that I would not be proud to call myself a feminist. It's turned into, to me, what is largely man-hating. There was one person in particular who said, and I just pulled this quote out, this is what class looks like in our country. A young blonde so hungry for fame that she will use any controversy to get there. So when people, and this was specifically a woman, a woman saying these things, how do you handle that backlash? And does it, I mean, are you sensitive to any of it in any way? Is there a part of Tommy, even though you're so strong and bold and, and unapologetic and we can see that, is there any part of you that gets hurt? I laugh at these people. If you are the kind of person that's going to go onto a comment section and you're going to specifically go to tear someone down and tell someone what their motivation is, so that they're seeking fame, a lot of times they attack election. me for my looks. They it's say that it must be stupid, a blonde bimbo. The if ass, that is, is like your satisfaction in life, is that, if that's what you do to validate your own existence, I feel sorry for you. But what I would say to women is that you have to have a strong sense of self. And I think that that's all about what you're doing and empowering women. You need to have a strong sense of who you are so that you can shake those things off. You need to be able to say, can I look in the mirror and love who I am at the end of the day? Am I proud of my choices? Am I proud of what I've done? I would tell women, find it within yourself. Because if you can find it within yourself and you can say F them, nothing can touch you after that. And it's a really strong sense of empowerment. Download our monthly magazine for free on your mobile phone or tablet in the iTunes App Store or Google Play. Just search Her Magazine and sign up for our newsletter at hermag.co.